Hey YouTube, Elite Legionario here, and I am bringing you a, well it's sort of an interesting battle, it was meant to be a 2 versus 2, but um, unfortunately me and Greece, who were meant to be allies, forgot to choose the same team, so it's actually, I'm on my own, Greece is on his own, and the two Macedonians are together, so um, it was a bit of a muck up on our part. As you can see, I'm playing as Spain, and this was a really high money game, about 65 to 70k. I usually don't play these games because it overpowers Greece and Rome, ridiculously so. Um, and it makes it very hard for any other faction to win, in my opinion. But, um, which is probably why you're thinking, why the hell would you choose Spain then? But I've found Spain can be good on high money because you can afford ball warriors, which are actually very good infantry. Anything else Spain has is pretty crap. The Balearic Slingers are good as well, but other than those two, there's nothing else good that Spain has, really. So, um, and the rules were none, there were no rules. So, um, I have eight units of maxed out, I think, or gold, gold and one experience rather on my um, ball warriors I have uh, gold, four gold, five gold attack uh, Balearic Slingers and um, actually it might not have been 60 something thousand, it was probably about 40 but it was a pretty high game, not a pretty high money game anyway considering I usually don't play high game, but anyway I have five units of gold, gold and one experience, long shield cavalry and um, I'm not going to uh, bother using them on each flank because these guys are not very good cavalry, they're only light cavalry so I'm going to use them um, all in one um, wallop on one flank and I'm use these other two ball warriors to shield the other flank and my other six to engage the front. So my opponent Trojan Commander has six units of Royal Pike, and they don't look to be upgraded. Uh, he's got four units of, I think it's five, you know, four units of Cretan Archers, and um, six units of Companion Cab, so, um, and that Onager. But uh, I think we're meant to be in teams, that's why we end up spending a lot more money. So, um... My guy's got quite a bit more upgrades, but uh, he's using Mastodon against Spain, so, you know. So anyway, um, I'm going to just charge my Peeler and uh, inflict some nice damage here. He should have Phalanx charged me at this point, and um, he would have probably been able to do a lot more. Uh, these Balearic Slingers are very good uh, units. They'll be a good match for these Cretans. So uh, as you can see, I'm going to charge in and engage his front line with my uh, men. But these um, ball warriors are here to intercept these uh, companions that have come round, and I'm allowed to put all my long shields down onto these companions. So I'm going to have a few engaged in the front, and then I'm going to wrap these other ones around the flank. So uh, I'm in here, and I was charging this unit, so I don't know why it's walking. There we go. And um, I come in here like this, and I'm going to send this unit around to wrap them up and I get an encirclement on them and then I can get in behind so as you can see I encircle them and this is going to cause these companions to rout pretty quickly and um, I see that these are uh, that derp who is the other um, Macedonian is coming in quickly to support his ally which is good of him uh, so I've got to be quick about this um, I'm sending my cavalry behind mop up archers and um, pikemen so uh, this is probably due mostly in due part to the more upgrades I had because I was on my own. Um, but I ended up fighting two of them, so it kind of evens out more. So as you can see, um, Trojan Commander's army's gone, but now Derp's um, pikemen coming here. Five units of gold, gold, royal pikemen. Four units of regular gold attack archers. Um, and a few... Um, the enemy warlord is dead. Slain by your brave warriors. Um, I don't see the point in using oranges and ballistas that much in um, open field battles like this. They're okay, at least if the enemy's like perhaps Greece, it would have worked well against, but um, not me, because I've had a fast fluent army, so I could easily avoid them. So, um, as you can see, these his royals are much more upgraded and are more equal with my men. And I'm looking for ways to get round them. Um, over here, my round shields uh, get hit by his lances. But um, I'm starting to surround and get my cavalry in. So I'm going to charge and do whatever damage I can. My cavalry's mostly gone. But uh, any sort of well performed art, well performance, well decent performance I do with Spain, I will be willing to upload because I find Spain an ultimately an extremely challenging faction to use. Um, 
Um, but on higher money games, like I said, um, you can employ much more ball warriors with much heavier upgrades, and they are very good infantry. So here I'm going to outflank these um, Royal Pikemen. And um, my slingers, I'm trying to get around the back, but there's still plenty of his archers and stuff that I need to deal with. So um, these bull warriors here, these guys are going to get routed. But uh, as you can see, I'm doing quite well against in this other battle because I've got a semi surround, or I'm going to sort of outflanked him a bit. It's going on there. Um, the Greek player, uh, Big Axe Man, his army consisted of a crap ton of really heavily upgraded Spartans. I think they're maxed out and about four of them, so we get pretty owned there. And he's got like a armored um, hoplite as well, and a heap of um, ballistas, some archers, and some cavalry. I really don't see the point in bringing all these ballistas into battle like this. Like I said, they're just not that great um, because it takes too long for them to do what they need to do, and um, by that point you could just charge into his army. But I suppose it's not too bad if um, you make the opponent feel rushed. So as you can see I managed to beat down uh, Derp and Trojan Commander's um, infantry line. But uh, the prob the reason being more probably because I had more upgrades, but they were two against one so it's probably pretty fair or even that way. Um, but now uh, Big Axe Men's coming into me. And um, it seems they're not really doing anything with these cavalry out here, so they're not probably making optimal use of the infantry and stuff. So, uh, as you can see, um, I've pretty much beaten all my opponents, but I'm pretty depleted now, except for my infantry, but they could just shoot me up, and there's no way I'm going to be able to beat Greece. And because this was the last man standing, because um, it was meant to be a 2 versus 2, um, Greece is going to win this. So... That's an inevitability. Uh, but I want to get in here and do as much damage to these cavalry and archers as I can, get kills, whatnot. Um, so I'm going to triple speed the bit. It's just sort of mopping up units here and getting what you can. So as you can see, I'm um, fighting some of these cavalry and uh, whatnot, shooting up some archers. This is a hunt. No, a coward chase. So uh, over here, Big X Men's Greek Cavalry come into the range of my Balearic Slingers and I'm going to do a lot of damage when they come back, which I'm sure they do. So he comes this way towards the remainder of Derp's army, but he's going to come back towards me, but he's just going to come into the range of my Balearic Slingers. So that'll do plenty of damage. So I'm just going to triple speed, and he's coming into range of my Balearic Slingers now. And as you can see, Mass Stone Fire is devastating. You'll see in a moment a lot of these guys will go down. See, as you can see, it just routes them. So, um, very devastating. Balearic Slingers are fantastic slingers. Very reliable. As you can see, a few of um, Derp's art just are coming along as well, so I went up shooting at them. But I'm going to triple speed it again because there's not a hell of a lot happening. Um, but uh, not a lot of people, I think, have a lot of success with Spain because very few people um, will uh, use them, and I can understand why. But it's because a lot of people use um, all the high-powered armies with all the high-powered units and it really makes it much too difficult to use Spain with any degree of much effect. Uh, I, I sometimes wish people would use some of the more um, unused units, go for even historical accuracy and just some different variations. Like, for instance, when you play as um, Carthage, you can automatically expect someone's going to bring, like, Sacred Band, Sacred Band Cab and Slingers. Or Balearic Slingers. Um, but it'd be cool if they tossed in like some Puini infantry, or some Libyan spearmen, some even even some Iberian infantry, um, and that sort of thing. And um, just various stuff like that, or with like with Rome that they'd use early legionary cohorts and um, all that tri pre and stuff, you know. 
But I mean, because everyone uses the high-powered units of every faction, you're kind of forced to bring other high-powered units to combat them. So it sort of, you know, means you can't really use um, any of those kind of units. But it's really fun if you can. Sometimes I like to host a game and um, make specific rules. Haven't done it for a while, though, so I might actually do that sometime soon. Um, I did a pre Marion one not too overly long ago. I think it's about number 38 on my channel, if you're interested. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, I'm just tossing more stones in this direction. Originally I tried getting an alliance with Derp, just to see if we could do plenty of damage to um, Greece. Obviously we weren't going to win, but we might have been able to do a bit of damage, but uh, he didn't seem to want to be in it, or he wasn't listening or something. So, um, yeah. So, uh, I was expecting I'd end up fighting Derp again. So that's pretty much going to happen, but obviously Greece is going to win LMS, and I mean, look at those damn upgrades on those Spartans. And um, it's very disconcerting to see my Spartans dressed in this tier again. I no longer have uh, Bell's mod because my computer um, decided to go and get all screwed up, and I had to uninstall all my stuff and reinstall it, and now I can't reinstall it until I fix my computer or some of the stuff on my computer. So uh, that's really annoying, but oh well, that's just what happens, isn't it? So, um, as you can see, there is some dead onages, and I don't know whether that's due to my slings or not. I didn't know rocks could break big wooden machines. But, um, these, not oranges, rather ballistas, my bad. Um, as you can see, there's a little point, and they're doing very little damage in this kind of battle. Don't know why everyone brought uh, siege gear. I didn't. Um, not for this kind of battle. So, um, this goes on for a few bit. Well, actually it looks like, um, Derp's charging forward. And as you can see, his cavalry got quite a lot of upgrades. And I'm obviously squished in the middle, but I'm pretty pleased with my performance in this game considering I took out Macedon and, well, both Macedonian players pretty much. Um, I'm bringing my men up and we're going to charge. But he's got a significant cab advantage and um, that's not so great. But um, I have my men in reserve taking care of them, so that's not so bad. And I'm doing whatever I can with my archers, to, my slingers rather, to inflict plenty of damage on the Greek archers. So, um, go Balearic slingers. As you can see, these raw pipe men are getting beaten. I've got a few units out here protecting for cave, and I'm confident that'll go nicely. So I'll just speed that up, and um, unfortunately, my units are out, so they must be getting pretty exhausted by now. Um, we're very tired. And they're not uh, doing so great, but I managed to route this um, cavalry unit, and I want to try and get this other cave unit. As you can see, I've got his royal pikemen beat, and um, I'm slinging away here. And as you can see, I've broken several um, ballistas, so a good place stone can destroy an entire machine, apparently. So uh, I'd peel some off, but I'd probably peel too many off. I want to catch them out here. And I get a bit divided up, and as you can see, uh, my men are exhausted now, and they just rout. So um, that's pretty much me finished. Because these cav are doing a lot of damage, but they're less tired compared to me. They're warmed up while my men are in these sort of very tired to exhausted stage so there's no way I was going to win that so um, looks like Dirt cleans me up and that's pretty much my part in this battle over but basically what goes on now is the warlord runs from the enemy why should our warriors fight for an old woman like him your general is in his grave it would have been better to send the enemy to their ancestors so uh, that's basically the end of me and basically what goes on there is Dirt's just going to use his caver a bit to, um, sort of, you know, um, weaken and skirmish 
of these um, Your warriors' guts have turned to water. They are running from the battle. So as you can see, these Greek cave here get pretty owned. Um, I'm just using triple speed now because it's just this sort of thing um, going on. So he's going to charge into these on uh, ballistas and archers and stuff. And as you can see, uh, my Blair Sling has quite a lot of damage there, so I'm quite pleased with that. So these Ballista crews are out. But uh, Big Axe Man, um, I don't know why he doesn't just Phalanx charge, because even if they get caught slightly out of formation, there's no way these uh, cap units are going to be able to stop them. So I would just Phalanx charge them, but uh, as you can see, Derp's done a nice job there in cleaning out all them. And he's going to pull out just in time with these light lances. So he's going to get away. And uh, he's going to go in and he's going to, look at this, he's going to strike these archers. So this is some just nice um, harassing, messing around, you know, chasing down uh, arch units. I'll be getting pretty frustrated if I were the Greek player. But this is the problem with Greece. If you don't keep the units together, what he's doing is dividing all his units up in his in the enemy cab are just um, massacring all his archers. And this is the problem with Greece, if you don't keep the units together, packed together and well guarded, um, then this will happen and you'll lose a lot of your lighter um, forces which you need to use to beat the enemy cab. So uh, as you can see, that's them getting mopped up by Derp's cavalry. And that's a good job on his part. But uh, obviously the Greek player will win. There's no way Dirk can defeat that, no matter how much he wants to. And uh, he goes in and tries to get the enemy cavalry. Um, he should have just gone after those archers out there and any other little units that were sitting around. And he's going to do that with his general unit, which charges in here. But uh, it's pretty much over now, as you can tell. Greece, Greece is going to win, LMS. And he's going to charge these uh, cavalry here. I don't know why the Greek, gen Greek player is running here. He's got more upgrades and fresher men. He could easily win this. He should win it, and he's just he's squandering it here. I don't know why. He's trying, look, he's just walking away with his back turned. He could beat this gen uh, Macedonian unit, but now he can't because he's depleted. And he's still just walking away. I mean, it's just rather stupid. Um, anyway, um, here he tries hammer and anvil, and they will die. The enemy warlord is dead, slain by your brave warriors. So, um, Terp's going to keep going with his, whatever he's doing here. If you want to skip to the end, it's probably pretty boring. So uh, now the Greek player decides to chase him with his cav. Uh, he could have done it so much easier before though, not and um, not lost as many units as he has. So this um, general's armored bodyguard, guard, I'm sure got a lot of kills, and as you can see, he's just chasing it around in circles for ages, and it soon comes to an end. So obviously it's a defeat for me, but I'm well ahead in the kills, and I had more or less the smallest army, I only had 14 more men than Derp, but I have 700 kills more than anyone who was near me, so uh, I had 664 men, I got 1,227 kills, and he had 16 men left, so I was pretty much vaporised. Trojan Commander had 705 men, 201 kills, 28 men remaining, Derp had 650 men, 502 kills, 35 men remaining, and Big X men had 597 uh, men, had 186 kills, and 391 men remaining. So I wished it was scored because then I would have won, but uh, never mind. As you can see, my Bull Warriors did really good. My Long Shield Cav did good, which is not a common thing. Um, my Balearic Slings did really good. They're excellent units. And um, yeah, so all my army got got good kills and it was um, it was nice to get that many kills and perform that well with Spain so a uh, good game to Trojan Commander Derp and Big Axe Man hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you next time